Adrian, thank you so much. Today, Rogers kicks off a fundraising campaign to support the Orange Shirt Society, which aims to educate Canadians on the history and impact of our country's residential school system and advocate for action on reconciliation. Joining us this morning, a Jouet artist, Patrick Hunter, who created this year's special orange T-shirt. And Patrick, we are wearing the T-shirts, uh, all of our hosts this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, there's a, quite a significance, and a lot of people have already asked us a bit about the design. Can you tell us a little bit, Patrick, about your involvement and what you did to come up with this design on these shirts? Sure. I'll just dive right into it. Um, in my culture, uh, I'm an Anishinaabe Ojibwe, and uh, the eagle flies the highest and carries the prayers and the good will of the people up to the creator. And um, so anytime that someone receives an eagle feather, it kind of means that you've done something um, extraordinary um, and of service to the community. So I chose 11 eagle feathers to represent uh, four directions because residential schools in this country were in all directions. Um, and then also to represent um, the seven grandfather teachings um, that uh, Anishinaabe people uh, hold dearly. So. That's sort of the, the reason behind the eagle feathers. Like everyone that went to residential school, obviously it was, it was a, a horrific experience and they all deserve as many eagle feathers as we could give them. And also um, I arranged it in a sunrise because you know with each new day, there's a new chance for reconciliation and there's a new chance to um, start over and, and you know think about the past and learn from it as well. Um, the the narrative every child matters i i kind of recognize that that is a little bit um close to black lives matter they're both separate campaigns they both mean a lot to, to me and a lot of indigenous people as well um so basically what this is saying is just that there were a lot of kids that didn't make it through residential schools so we're trying to pay tribute and honor their lives as well uh Yes, and I think, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier about a past that I think a lot of people really need to learn a little bit more about, and hopefully that is uh, what happens for the next little while. Orange Shirt Day, um, as we've been mentioning, is actually on September 30th, but we are hoping mm -hmm. that our viewers here uh, can learn, educate themselves over the next little while, and, and proceeds will be going towards supporting um, the Orange Shirt Society as well. Can you talk to us a little mm -hmm. bit about your involvement with that, with the Orange Shirt Society, and what will be done with these net proceeds? Sure. So um, Rogers and I have been working together over the past year on a couple different projects and um, asked if I wanted to meet Phyllis Webstadt and to be involved in the Orange Shirt Day um, designing of a shirt. And, um, you know, as an artist, you always want to be able to use your talent for good. And um, this seemed like a, a no brainer for me to want to work with them. And as you were saying that there's you know, a lot of people weren't taught about residential schools in in high school, and mm -hmm. you know that's that's a failure of the Canadian education system. Luckily, I had a great teacher. Shout out, Mr. Mack, um, in Red Lake, that that taught us the true history of what was happening. So, you know, it's kind of alarming to me sometimes when people don't know what happened. But at the same time, here's a great opportunity to not only wear a shirt, but then also to educate yourself on. What happened? You know, where are the holes that you need to fill in for yourself? And it's, it, I think it's ultimately um, a positive thing if, you know, people want to dive a little deeper. Indeed. You look to your past as you look toward your future as well. Uh, I want to, we put up the key on the screen here. TSC.ca slash We Wear Orange is where you can get these orange shirts. And again, the net proceeds going to uh, Orange Shirt Society. Uh, is there any message that you want to leave with our viewers, Patrick, here um, about the importance of really educating oneself and why it needs to be done and why now? You know, we're in this strange COVID slash, you know, political slash racial client at the moment. And it's the least we can do. It's, you know, it's respect is, respect gets respect. And I think the most that anyone can do is, you know, look into another culture's history and look into maybe reasons why that you don't um, necessarily 
you know, look for reasons where you don't connect. And um, I think it's important for people to realize, you know, the struggles of other cultures. And, you know, that might be not be the same struggle for you, but um, there's something to learn there. Absolutely. Very well said, Patrick. Thank you so much for your time today you. uh, and, and these shirts and the explanation and the significance behind them as well. And as mentioned, you can go to tsc.ca slash we wear orange to get your orange shirt orange shirts rather starting today. Patrick, thank you.